Welcome back to another episode of Life is Feudal Forest Village. In the last episode, we finished building this castle barn, and now we are moving the potatoes, and we're going to move more of the charcoal over there. Oh, it is cold. I'm going to take all of the farmers out. We can take out the gatherer and the beekeepers. Oh, we can put in another person in the weaver. We have all the kilners right now, and we'll just do like Ten in each of these. Okay. Um, so we are we just finished this orchard. So this was elderberry, orange. So this one is going to be lemon. And I might take these two out for now. Just because we don't really need them in here at the moment. It's winter that it's not growing. And then eventually I will put more people in. Um, we are working on getting the re this stuff up so that when I build this house the people can produce the firewood that they need to live here. Okay we're doing better on potatoes that's really good. Let's rotate these fish. Oh uh, okay let's put them in there and then this person. I think I'm going to leave everything the same. This I kind of started late, so we didn't get as many oats as before, so I ended up killing off some more chickens and pigs so that we wouldn't go through as many oats. But next year hopefully we'll get all of that and it won't be a problem. And we are gaining potatoes, which is really good. We've got 8,000 in here. I wonder where most of it's going. We've got 4,000 in there. 5,500. Where's all this going? Is it going in here? Did I build another one on this side somewhere? No. That must be going in here then. Yeah, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, so that's kind of what we're working on. We're gonna do the lumberjack. Maybe I'll turn it into a sawmill right away and then we'll do the kilns and then we'll build the house. Um, and they're gonna have potatoes over here already. We got a little bit of fish. Not a whole lot, but better than nothing. Whoa! I've got so much wool in there and not any... Which one? This one? This? This one? Okay, let's put another person in there and do that too. Do one person in each, hopefully. Okay, so the lumberjack is done. I'm going to upgrade it right away. We have 12 laborers. Are they doing anything right now? Mm -hmm. hmm. No. So let's get some more of these big trees here. And then maybe we'll do... We'll do a little bit extra over here and do some of this. Because I am using a lot of resources over here. I mean, we still have a lot of wood, but better to have too much wood than not enough. Somebody died from old age again. Man, better check on the fish. gonna take them a little longer to get these things built because it's the middle of winter and they all live across the river but I also want to make sure that they are okay in here okay I'm gonna pause this and uh, start moving charcoal over man I need more charcoal people I wonder if I could do charcoal up here right uh, I guess it's kind of far away from the is this where the charcoal is going it is I could totally do charcoal up here whatever kilns kiln and kiln I'll probably do the other side first, but I feel like we need more charcoal. We're good on firewood. We need more charcoal. They have almost everything. They just need a little more stone in here, and then they'll have all that. I need to get more resources on this side. Let's... It is warm enough now. We can take these people out. Um, we will put in 25 farmers. And one in the gatherer, two in the bees, and we'll just have to wait for more kids to grow up. I don't even have anybody in these right now, but I don't really have a choice. Charcoal's dropping. That, and then both of the kilns. I might start these so that the, the laborer can put the resources in here while we're building the other one. Um, that way they can just move from one to the other and be done, hopefully, a little bit faster. 
I'm going to lock the charcoal for a minute so they can get more of it. We have a lot of firewood. We don't really need the charcoal right now. And then I'm just going to escape that. And once that's all moved over, I'm going to take these two out. And we can put somebody into here. Why? It's so annoying. No? Where did it go? In here? Of course it did. I don't want them in here right now. I want them in here. Thank you. Now I can put somebody in here. No? There. I don't need three people in here right now. Okay. This will be a lot better now. They have three people in there. I can actually get it all at once. Firewood's done, or the sawmill's done. I'm gonna do that, and this one. So, if I put somebody, if I build this house that's five people, I can have one person in the firewood, one person in each of the kilns, and then each of these orchard people in, living in this house for now. And then eventually, I will need m another house to put farmers in and more orchard people. Um, so maybe I should start planning where that's gonna go while they're building things. Can I fit a house sideways here? Let's see. I want to do a large house, I think. Yeah, that's not gonna fit. Okay, so we'll do it this direction. Um, we'll do it facing the orchards over here. Can, they can get up there, right? Before I do that, let me make sure that they can actually walk up this path. No, they can't walk right here. So I need to fix this a little bit. I wonder if I can do this. There we go. Get that done, and then we will put a house there. Early summer. I might just start gathering. Well, I'm gonna wait. In the summer, I'm just gonna start gathering the wheat because I think that they might still get more if I do that than if I wait for them to figure it out on their own. The raiders, where are they at? Oh my gosh. Okay, they started over here, so they are going to come like this direction. I need to keep an eye out for them. Oh, they're in here somewhere. Mm, do you see him around? Right here. Is that a raider? It is a raider. Where are my people? Is this one of my people? Okay. Let's... We need this. Where was that person at? Ah. These are my people? Yeah, they are. These are all my people. I wish it wasn't dark right now. Can't really see much. Is there anybody throwing fire? I like to hide behind buildings and do this. Are they all dead? Was it just the two of them? Maybe? Okay. Well, hopefully that's it. I guess I should keep an eye out and make sure that there's not any other bad guys around. And a tornado. Wow. Well, while that was going on, these two kilns got finished. So, I can now build the small house. Well, maybe I will let them put all the resources in and wait to build it until a couple of these kids have grown up. Um, okay. Let's get these rotated. And... Uh, what's this one doing? Yep. Is this done? It is. So, let's put in a house. Let me make sure before I do that, they can walk all along here. Perfect. Okay, now I can put a house. No, a big one. Rotate so the door is by towards the orchards. If I do that, can they get up there? I think so. I'm pretty sure that they can walk up that. So we'll do one house here, and then probably another one here. Maybe I'll do one sideways this way. And do a barn here. I don't know, we'll see. Okay, this is, I'm gonna wait to finish that until some of the kids grow up. So we still have one more person that needs to be born. We have six kids, we're gonna have seven. So we'll wait a minute. 
Oh, you know what I didn't do is start this week. Well, I need a couple more people in here to gather that. I need to gather this. I need another beekeeper. I need to take somebody out of the weaver shop. How are we doing on all this stuff? Rotate the fish farmers. Yeah, you don't need to do that anymore. How are we doing on oats? I think we'll be good because we're gonna get all this. Okay, this person isn't needed anymore. We're gonna just gather all of that. And let's see how these are doing. Actually, I might as well do these two kilns while we are waiting for the um, people to grow up. Somebody else died and we had a teenager grow up, but... Man, we don't have any uh, hides over here. Does this have hides in it? A little bit. This doesn't... This has a bunch of them. Oh! Rabies. Okay, put somebody in the healer shop. Where can I take people out? This person's not needed. This person's not needed. These two are good to take out. I need this person or this. And they are almost done here. Oh, they're done there. So, got a bunch of people that can work. Let's gather some of this stuff. Definitely putting more. gonna pause these for the moment because I don't have anybody living over here so I don't really have somewhere that they can work. Um, take this person out. Well we're doing better on potatoes so I don't really have to worry about that anymore as long as I keep producing a lot. I really should move the donkeys over here soon. How am I doing on three? Yeah we're good on wheat for these two. So I could potentially do I could do another warehouse over here next to them and do another um, farm with more hay next to it so that they then I can put one of the donkeys in here and I don't have to worry about them starving. Let's do that. Let's put a warehouse here and then another farm. And I'll just do it like that. Get those two done. And it is cold now, so we can take out all the farmers. All of the beekeepers, all of the gatherers. We can take out the extra orchard people. And I'm just going to pause these so that I don't accidentally put somebody in there. And then we will put people into the mines. And another weaver in. And that'll be good for the moment. I need to figure out, I need to get some more hides over here. Do we have hides in here? Oh yeah, we got a few hundred, uh, hundred something. Let's put somebody in here and have them move the hides from here over to here. Do that for a bit, minute. I think that that is where we're going to end this episode. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed the episode, please click that like button. If you want to see more videos like this one, make sure to subscribe. And if you haven't already, I'd love to hear from you. So please leave me a comment below. I'll see you next time.